Well, the kitten bowl is this weekend, and many of us have been thinking about pet adoptions. And here with the Shelter Pet Project telling us how we can provide forever homes for little furry friends <laughs> and shelter animals. Please welcome Shelly Thompson to our show with somebody welcome. who was a little adopted dog, right? Yes. Well, explain to everybody what Shelter Pet Project is. Sure. The Shelter Pet Project is an ad council campaign, and it's being um, sponsored by Maddie's Fund and the Humane Society of the United States. And we are... Um, promoting how great shelter pets are and wanting people to think of shelters and rescue groups as their first place to go to get a new pet. Who is this? Yeah. This is Jack. Jack? Yeah. He is He's my so dog he, and, and he is he obsessed was... with the treats in my hand right now. Yes, <laughs> Where did you get him? Um, I um, actually found him in Alabama in the median of a four-lane highway scrounging for food. Can you sit? Can you... Oh, thank you. Good job. Um, Took him to the shelter. He sat in my lap giving me kisses the whole way. Yeah, he's so funny. <laughs> yes. He's doing that and apparently hungry. Yeah. <laughs> no, he loves Treat his treats. Treat obsessed. But you've had him for nine years now. Yes, right? yeah. yes. How many pets or animals go into these shelters a year? Uh, there's about eight million dogs and cats that end up in shelters every year. Wow. Yeah, wow. it's a large number. And so why is adoption such a great option? Well, it's, I mean... Uh, Here's an example. <laughs> There's an example. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the dogs and cats that are in shelters are so fantastic. And um, we've found that people are seven times more likely to adopt if they hear about it from a friend. So sharing their story of how they found their dog or cat is a great way to help the animals in shelters get into homes. Oh, well, we actually have a, a story that we want to share with you, a success story about um, shelter pet adoptions. Take a look. I rescued Toast from a shelter in 2011. I love Toast because she's a lazy diva. Toast does whatever she wants, obviously. She's sleeping right now. She's an epic snuggler. She's so comforting. She's so loving. Toast makes me laugh. <laughs> when I walked into the shelter, I knew right then that she was special. Oh. <laughs> so what is the ultimate goal of the Shelter Pet Project? So the ultimate goal of the Shelter Pet Project is um, to find homes for the 2.4 million dogs and cats that don't get into homes each year. And uh, the good news is that there are 29 million people who are looking to acquire a pet this year. Really? And we just need 2.4 million of them to choose adoption. So what is the, and by the way, they all, you see that, you see, they all have different personalities. Oh, they're all individuals, just like people. Yeah, and I don't know if it's me, but they seem so grateful. Yeah, I don't know, they do. It, yes. know, really appreciative. Very, very have. grateful, definitely. Um, what is the, um, how do you go about, you, you, you say that you want to convince these people to get, mm -hmm. to go to the shelter. What is the process for them? What do they go through? Uh, uh, like once they get to the shelter? Yeah. Uh, every shelter is different, every rescue group is different, um, but usually they, you know, meet the pet that they're interested in, or they might have an interview process with mm -hmm. um, an adoption counselor to find out what sort of pet they're looking for, what pets they have that might be the, a good fit for them, um, and then do meet and greets and get to know the animals. And sure. What about shots? What about, you know, oh, yeah. and 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 animals all of that those are, things are, that animals we should want to... Animals coming out of the shelters are all um, <laughs> vaccinated, <laughs> spayed or neutered. Okay, no. <laughs> That's okay. I love you. It's okay. I love you. That's yes, great. I do. I do. so much. I love you so much. Yes, I do. They've been given wellness checks. If they had, um, uh, you know, uh, an injury or an illness, then they've been treated for that. Right. Aww. And, you know, it's a good idea. I've had a dog almost my entire life, except yeah. for a small window of time Sorry. between <laughs> transitions, and they really do make a family. Yes. They make a home. They do. They do. They, do. they, do. House they definitely do. Can you stay? Good stuff. Can All right. Well, Thank Jack, you. can we get you something, yeah. Jack? Jack. 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 <laughs> for more information Jack on how to what share you your adoption <laughs> story or get more information on how to adopt a pet of your own, please visit theshelterpetproject.org, or you can try to keep up with Jack. Good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you I so much. Him. We're going to go out and see Mr. Cupid. Thank you, Mark. You do not want to miss the fun. When we come back, Cupid is going to show you his top ways on how to get ready for Valentine's Day with your family. Don't miss it.